Hello everyone, this is AB Creative. I hope you're all good. Today we are going to be using a couple of very easy techniques to paint a lovely horse. Now, today is my son's birthday, it's the 3rd of October, and we went for a nice walk today, and we saw plenty of horses on the way. And I just remembered I really, really wanted to paint a horse. That's the plan for today. I seem to be addicted to the long canvases recently. So again, we're using the one 20 centimeters by 50. Basically, it's going to be a, just a head and a mane. That's what I'm thinking with a really nice swipe. It's going to be quite a simple painting, so let's start. I'm going to sketch a head, first of all. I do not have templates. I usually look at some pictures or take pictures myself, but if you don't have any, there are plenty on the internet. Just find one that's royalty-free and you can copy directly from the internet. I'm just going to sketch my horse quickly, make some changes if I don't like it, but roughly something like this. That took me like 10 seconds, but while, while I'm cutting, I might change a bit. Okay, I don't think I need a neck. This is going to be all a swipe. I just realized that I want it on the other side, so I quickly traced it on the other side. I might change it slightly during the swipe, but at the moment, adding some sections for the mane. I'm going to use the outside, not the inside of the horse. So when you cut it, make sure you don't cut the edges. And there is no right or wrong how you want the mane to, to flow. While I'm cutting this, I am just wondering what colors do I want on my horse and what color background shall we paint? Okay, see what I've done. So this is, that's it. I might keep the head for some for some other project, let's just keep it. And now I am going to paint the background. Most of you are probably familiar with this beautiful horse by Stubbs on this beigey kind of golden background. Maybe I'm going to create a similar one, but my horse is going to be predominantly black. Put some leftover gold. If I add a bit of white to it and a tiny bit of black, just to tone it down a bit, maybe I'll get a nice color, not sure, but let's experiment. So that's the tinted version. That's a nice color. Black is really powerful, so if you're adding black, be very, very careful just to add a tiny bit first. Really small amount. If you add too much in the first go, there's no way to come back. So it's better to add not enough than too much. With black, I mean. Okay, I can see it's changing. Got this kind of grayish gold, beigey color now. I want this mix to be significantly lighter than my gold paint. I wonder if you can see the difference. See now? Oh yes. I think we've got a good background. Let's color the canvas. Hopefully that's enough. Mix it. I mix like really small amounts and I just try to cover everything. But it's just me. You can mix much more and I, that's why I always wonder if that's enough. But then it's, it's always enough somehow. I personally very rarely put anything under my canvas because the paint my paint doesn't drip, but you can do it, so you can lift it up. If I'm just covering the background, I might need it. It's easier to clean, clean your table. Okay, let's pour the gold. It's actually, what color is that? Very, very milky coffee. You see, I almost covered everything and I still got paint. I'm not going to bother too much about the bottom part because that part is going to be covered with a swipe. But this section, yes. I want the top to be covered really nicely. I like this part, like icing the cake. I'm actually, I don't really enjoy baking that much, <laughs> but I do enjoy imagining that I am baking something. I think I would like actually decorating the cakes. If someone else was baking the cake, I would love to decorate it. You see, I didn't need to lift it up. I'm absolutely fine. I'll do the edges later. Okay, I think I can leave it. So this is going to be ready tomorrow and we can proceed with the stencil. That's our horse template, but I'm not going to use this, as I mentioned before. I'm going to use the negative space, so just the outside, the outline, and stick it on. I think that will be the right height. 
so let's start peeling it off now peel it off maybe I'll start with this one I made a dot on the ears so I roughly know what I wanted Just looking if I'm happy with it at the moment. I think so. Now I'll press the edges, make sure it adheres nicely, maybe even this way. I'm not going to pour paint here. The horse is going to be black, so just just do his face. I'll figure out once I get to the pouring bit. The colours we are going to be using today are burnt sienna, burnt amber gold, pearl copper gold, titanium white and mars black. Most of the messages I receive, especially via Instagram, are regarding mixing, cells and what's in my pour. I'm just explaining again. So this is my pouring paint. One part of paint to one part of water with PVA glue. And to that, I add roughly 25 or 30 percent, I don't me really measure, of float chalk. And if it's still too thick, I might spray just a bit of water in to make sure that it runs off really nicely. Before I'm going to apply the paint, I do what I usually do if I use a stencil. I touch the edges with just pure paint, touch it with a bit of black just to seal the edge. I don't want really the paint to seep underneath and I think that helps. Now while I'm doing it I'm going to tell you that the first stencil I've ever seen related to pouring of course because I've been using stencils for years you know with my students especially uh, with relation to street art. Pouring and stencil was a crafty gen did them and I think that's how I kind of started developing my own and changing and adapting. I do love pouring with purpose, uh, if I can call it like this. So I have a concept and then pouring, pouring techniques are means to an end. <laughs> I'm preparing some strips of just regular paper towel for this wipe. I don't want them too wide because I want to be able to maneuver them and I will start layering the colors. As you can see, I did some mixes. I, I had uh, burnt umber and burnt sienna, but I mixed them with a bit of white and a bit of black and I created some different hues so that's what I have the two browns the beigey brown gold and black for the swipe how about doing just all the edges black and then starting with brown and then layering the lighter colors I'm going to take my palette knife Maybe it's enough of the black. Time for some brown. For all the other colors now. So I'll just drizzle them randomly. This is the burnt sienna. I'm trying to pick the colors that will look, uh, well, let's say horsey, <laughs> if I can say that. Just want to have enough to cover that section. Okay, so this is the lighter bit, lighter beige colour. It's important to have some lighter colour underneath because I'm going to swipe with black. But I actually want to see the colours underneath. Okay, now we have bronze. Uh, as you've noticed, this part is dry, so I'm not sure how the swipe will go. I didn't put anything underneath. I'm still hoping that will work. If not, I have to think of adapting it somehow. But if I don't try, we'll never know. And now we want the gold. So this is the lightest color of all. A bit similar to the background. That looks like plenty to me. Okay, I think we are ready to swipe. And because everybody loves to sell so much, I'm going to add two drops. 
of silicone and in this case it, this is coconut hair serum there's a link in the description if you want to see that and I'll mix it really well I'm applying black just along the edge here for the swipe I hope that's enough I am spraying my napkins I want them moist I don't want them dry okay first move touching it very gently nice same here so pretty I think I used too much black, I might spread it later. Okay, now the bottom parts. I'm making the strips even thinner, you know, it's easier to maneuver. Now this is going to be a thicker section. I'm going to do this part slightly different. I'm going to make my special tool that I use for my feather. See if it's going to work on a horse's mane. Let's spray it. Okay, what shall we do now with this part? Because that's the only part that worries me a bit. As I said before, I don't want them to go too far. So I'm actually happy with the size. I just think I want a bit more here at the bottom. Touch of burnt sienna. I'm just dipping this little tool in black. And I want to swipe these. some nice cells. I'd use it on this part as well. Well at the moment this horsey looks a bit of a like a cross between a dog and a lion doesn't he? But let's just hope once I peel it off it's going to look better because I want to see what I need to fix. So gently Wow, not too bad, look at this. Not too bad, so I just need to fix this part and this, and I think I'm pretty happy. So, I do like the head, and I do like the dark coming here as well. I think that's nice. Okay, so what do we need to do? Uh, this section, I'm not happy with this section. So what color shall we put here? Maybe a bit of this brown. Oh, looks better even now. I can also swipe with really small pieces of napkin, really tiny. But I knew I would be risking a lot just swiping on dry background. You don't, you don't actually swipe on dry backgrounds. Not recommended. <laughs> so what do I need? When the painting is still wet, you can clean some sections with a Q-tip or 
you may prefer to wait till it's dry and then just go over with a brush. That's probably easier. I think there's one spot here on the ear that I don't like. And that's it. Let me check the edges if I spilled anything. Oh, there's a tiny, tiny bit. So you see the paint didn't even drip apart from this section. Let's clean it. Okay, I will leave it to dry. Well, this is obviously a fantasy horse. I, there are no sort of, I didn't include any legs or any other body parts. I, what I wanted to capture is the movement. And I hope I managed to do it. So let's just leave it to dry. And now let's take a look at the finished piece. Well, I hope you all enjoyed my horse. I don't have a name for it yet, but I would love to hear your suggestions in the comments. If you enjoyed, consider giving the video a like and turn on notifications so you don't miss any upload. My videos premiere every Saturday where I chat with my subscribers live. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye bye.